Morning, happy hippos. Have you ever thought about what job you'd like to do when you grow up? There's lots of different things you can do. Let's find out what this little boy wants to do. The title of this book is When I Grow Up. I waited so long for the hours to pass, but soon it was noon there in Mrs. Krupp's class. And Thursday at noon, as I'm sure you know well, is the time of the week when we do show and tell. And this week, the subject, so special to me, was when I grow up, what am I going to be? That's something I'd really been thinking about, and I just couldn't wait to let all those thoughts out. So when Mrs. Krupp said, who's ready to share? You can guess who was there with his hand in the air. I raised both my hands just as high as they'd go, and I bounced up and down, and then, what do you know? Well, Mrs. Krupp picked me, yes, me, to go first. Oh, I was so happy I thought I would burst. I proudly stood up and began my oration concerning my choice for a future vocation. Ahem. Esteemed friends and colleagues and dear Mrs. Krupp, I know what I'm going to be when I grow up. Why, I'll be the greatest chef you've ever seen. The world will go crazy for my whole cuisine. I'll tantalize taste buds with my rigatoni, sautéed with black truffles and pickled bologna. Surrounded by kumquats and candied pig's feet, topped with shrimp-flavored lollipops. Bon appetit! My walls will be filled with awards that I've gotten for toast on a stick and my Twinkies au gratin. My kitchen will be the most famous in France, so make reservations 12 years in advance. There's no doubt about it, I'm certain you see. A world-renowned chef is what I'm going to be. Would any of you like to grow up and be a chef? A chef gets to cook all the time. And if you like to cook, it could be fun coming up with lots of new recipes. That's very nice, Billy, sweet Mrs. Krupp said. Who wants to be next? Maybe Susie or Fred? I said, hold the phone now. I haven't departed. Hang on to your seats, because I'm just getting started. Oh my goodness, sounds like Billy's going to have some more ideas. See, maybe instead I could be a snail trainer. Man, that would be awesome. Why, that's a no-brainer. I'll teach all my snails to do really neat tricks. They'll play dead, roll over, and even fetch sticks. Of course, all the sticks will come back two years later. But working with snails, I mean, what could be greater? They'll do any stunt that I like. Holy moly. I'll train them to pedal a bike really slowly. Then jump, I mean ooze, through a huge ring of fire and crawl at a snail's pace across a high wire. Then finish by writing my name with their trails. That's right, I'll be Billy, the master of snails. Well, I know I've heard of the job chef. But I don't know if I've heard about being a snail trainer at what looks like a snail circus. That would be an interesting job. Or else maybe I'll be the lathe operator who makes the hydraulic torque wrench calibrator, which fine tunes the wrench that's specifically made to retighten the nuts on the lateral blade that's directly beneath the main radial sockets inside cooling systems on X-14 rockets. And since this profession's as cool as can be, well, who would be better to do it than me? Say, here's an idea, perhaps just for laughs. I might make my living by milking giraffes. It's oh so cliche to get milk from a cow, and I bet all those cows need a break anyhow. Imagine me milking way up in the air. I'd use a tall ladder instead of a chair. What? Milking giraffes? Mrs. Krupp said. Oh, please. I countered. 
How else could we make giraffe cheese? Now don't interrupt me, I'm not really through yet. There's still lots of stuff that I'm planning to do yet. Because maybe I'll be a gorilla masseuse. Or an artist who sculpts out of chocolate mousse. Or a rodeo clown or a movie director or maybe a professional pickle inspector, or big sumo wrestler or hedge fund investor, or smelly pit sniffing deodorant tester. Or I'll be an expert on nuclear fission, or else a foot model, or friendly mortician, or waiter, or skater, or master debater, or dinosaur dusting museum curator or TV repairman, or sidewalk sign waver, or part-time assistant tarantula shaver. And that's about when Mrs. Krupp said, now Billy, please make up your mind. This is getting quite silly. Which one of those things are you going to choose? I shuffle around and I look at my shoes. Billy has so many ideas, he's going to have a tough time making a choice about what he wants to do. He has so many interests. And finally, I said, my great-grandfather Bob's been a whole lot of things, had a whole bunch of jobs. A butcher, a barber, a bellman, a bouncer, a telephone psychic, and bingo announcer. You know what? He's just turned 103, and he's still not quite sure what he wants to be. See, I'm only eight now, so frankly, I'm hoping You'll cut me some slack if I leave options open. Let's just wait and find out what my future brings. Hey, I might have time to do all of those things. Billy's right. You don't always have to pick just one job. You could do one job and then try out something else. And then the bell rang and we all went to lunch. And as I was sipping my pineapple punch, I pondered professions that I'd like to enter, like brave firefighter or crazy inventor. Or maybe, just maybe now, when I grow up, I can be a great teacher, like dear Mrs. Krupp. Look, he made her a card. It says, Teacher Billy for Mrs. Krupp. Love Billy. And he drew a picture himself of himself when he is a teacher. That is the end. See you later, hippos.